Hey everybody, it's Marquita. Hi Hannah. Hey, what's your name? Hannah. Hannah. Um, we are here doing a quick little video uh, saying happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. To Desiree, my happy little baby man. Desiree. She is 18 today. Five five ninety nine at um let me see twelve fifty nine I think she was born. Um I was fifteen and I was there when she was born. So yeah. Happy birthday Desi. Happy birthday to Desiree. Happy birthday, Desiree. Happy birthday, Desiree. Yeah. And uh, I just want to say um, that I'm proud of the type of girl that you have become and that you are going to become. So, uh, uh, we're very proud of you. We're very glad that you're their sister. Yeah. Um, Stop it. We're, we're glad you're in our Stop family. Stop it. So, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Okay, I was wanting to tell a little Mr. story Peter. about the day Desiree was born. Desiree was born? Yeah, you wasn't there. Um... The day Desiree no. was born Stop was, it. I think, the last day of school. I'm not for sure. In That's my hand, it was the last day. Of, no, she got, no, she, Alicia got gallbladder surgery on the last day of school. So I didn't go back. On, I didn't go to school on the last day of school. Well, of course, I didn't go to school on May the 4th either. I'm getting that. Okay. Um, Alicia was scheduled to get yeah, induced at 8 o'clock in the morning on May the 4th, 1999. So we went in, we rode the bus, she was miserable because they, they're not easy on some of the buses. And we picked one of the buses that wasn't easy. And we were on the bus and yeah, on the finally, bus? finally got to the hospital, went upstairs, checked in, and they immediately started the Pitocin to induce her and um, we were just sitting there waiting. Well, funny thing about it was she couldn't eat. 24 hours before she um, before she got induced. Now I'm worried that oh my gosh, the baby's gonna starve to death. It's gonna die. That's how I. That's what I was thinking. I was like, how are you gonna starve the baby? It's just a little baby. But now, years later, I now know that. You know, the baby is constantly eating. Um, so, I went out because I'm fat. I went out and got me some snacks from the vending machine and from the um, cafeteria. And I was eating. Well, Alicia was like, Alicia was like, um, I see it, Savannah. Alicia was like, well, sneak me one, sneak me one. So I gave her a cracker. I gave her some chips. I yeah. gave her some water. And um, you didn't I don't do want to see her hungry. I'm still like that. I don't want to see nobody hungry. And then the time comes for her to push. And it's like 10 o'clock at night by this time. We got there at 6 o'clock in the morning. Actually, it was 5.55 in the morning. Um, 
we got to the hospital. So it's now 10 o'clock at night. She's been laboring, laboring. But she's had an epidural. So uh, she's not feeling much pain. She's not feeling no pain. So yes, okay. But stop. You no, go over there. Go over there, please. Go over there. You're distracting me. Savannah, get down now. <laughs> um, but yeah. So it's about 10 o'clock. Then they're like, oh, you could start to push. And they're going to let me get the doctor and, you know, everybody to come in. Well, by this time. Who walks through the door? Mr. TK. And so me and Leisha, we look at each other, we look at him, and he goes, Oh, I seen your mama. She said she was in labor. And we were like, Okay. So he sits down. And he wasn't there for, um, TK wasn't there for Tim's birth. Um, he came the day after. So that's why we were confused to see him walk through the door with him saying, Oh, th no, that's not my baby. I don't know whose baby that is. That's not my baby. Yeah. So um, he came in and he yeah. sat down. Hannah, Miss Savannah, stop. And so then the pushing started. And she pushed, and she pushed, and pushed, pushed. Yeah, it broke. It she pushed for about an hour before they were like, well, we're going to have to cut off your epidural because yeah, we yeah. don't think that you can feel it. And um, they cut it off, and she could feel it a little bit, but not like, like really bad. So she still tried to push, try to push, try to push. And then they're like, yeah, um, we're going to try to massage your stomach. So then that's what they did. They tried to massage your stomach, um, seeing if they can get the baby down. Is it? Is it charging? See if they can get the baby to start laboring again. Um, and then she, she told him, she's like, I could feel everything. I could feel the contraction and uh -uh. everything. So they're like, just push the, push out the contraction. So that's what they did. And so then they pulled Desiree out and she's a little chunky monkey. That's what I used to call her, chunky monkey. And, um. So yeah, she she was seven pounds. Um, I want to say seven pounds fourteen ounces. This is spitting. Stop spitting. I'm thinking she's seven pounds. Seventeen, not seventeen. Seven pounds fourteen ounces, if I'm not mistaken. Um, is he seven fourteen or seven twelve? Um, but Tim, when he was born, he was six pounds and six or seven pounds six ounces. And um, yeah, so I remember when she was born, I got to pull her head out. I got I wanted to cut the cord, but like the nurse was like, "Here's the scissors," and I had it up there, but it's pretty much already cut. She just let me go through the motion. Um, so yeah, that, that's how, and you know, and I got to hold her, of course they grabbed her and wiped her off and everything, gave it to my sister, but, um, I remember, because I have such a low immune system, it was cold in the, in the, uh, delivery room, which was her room that she was going to stay, or the room that she labored and she had them in the room. Um, 
I remember it was so cold. And then um, I remember I sung God Must Have Spent a Little Bit More Time on You by uh, NSYNC, not the Alabama version, the NSYNC version. And she started crying. And I was like, huh? So I was like, who don't like God must have spent a little bit more time on you? And to verify that she did not like the song, she sneezed in my face. Now I know what you're saying. Kida, she was like three minutes old. She doesn't, she can't control her sneezes. She sneezed in my face. And then that, the little baby sneezed in my face. I was sick for two weeks. Like, I had a cold. So then, ironically, she got me sick and I can't go around her because she's a baby. Funny story about her, though. She likes sleeping on your head. When she was little, like, if she was sleeping on your chest, you wake up, she's literally on top of your head. No joke. No joke. Hannah, I think, might be like her. It's scary. Yeah, I wake up every morning right there. Yeah, I gotta watch out. And, um, but yeah, that's just a little story. And I just want to say, happy birthday, Desiree. I love you, and I am so glad to, to have gotten to be a part of some of your life. Can you thank you? Happy birthday, Desiree. Uh, I'm glad I got to meet you and your whole family. Oh, I was 15 when Desiree was born. <laughs> I was 14 when Tim was born. Um, yeah. I, I turned 14 on November the 29th, 1997. He was born December the 6th, 1997. Desiree was born... May the 5th, 1999. I'm sorry for him. But I hope you have a great birthday. I hope that you continue to grow up. Um, sweet night.